this circuit right here actually um, is one of my favorite circuits. I think it's a Forest Mem circuit. And it's one that uh, I worked on when I was a lot younger uh, many years ago. And it's the one that I, have, I was having trouble understanding how transistors worked. And it, when it, this circuit right here was the one that actually turned the light bulb on. And it, it's not a very complicated circuit. I think he called this one, it's a, um, a sound light probe. I'll have to look it up. I can't remember. But it, it's a real simple circuit. You have a resistor here, a photoresistor, a NPN transistor, a PNP transistor, and then you got a capacitor here and then a power source and a speaker and that's it and let's look at the schematic okay now let me explain what's going on here here we're going to have our power source which is going to be three volts we got R1 which is going to be a 10k resistor R2 is going to be a photoresistor but I'm going to swap it out with a, um, a 1 mega ohm resistor later on we got um, C1, which is going to be a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And I'll swap it out also with a larger capacitor to show how it affects the circuit. Uh, Q1 is just going to be any general NPN transistor. Q2 is going to be the same, a general PNP transistor. And then just a little battery here. I think I used a, a 0.3 uh, watt 8 ohm speaker. All right, so what we have with the circuit is you're going to have currents going to want to flow this direction to the PNP transistor, but it's going to be off, so it can't go anywhere. So then you're going to have current that's going to flow down this way through this resistor, through the photoresistor. And remember, uh, photoresistors, while it's dark, they have a very high resistance, and as it gets more light, it'll have uh, less resistance. So while it's dark, the current will flow through here, and it's a small amount and it's going to charge C1 the capacitor here and as this charges up it will send enough uh, current through to charge uh, the PMP, uh, PMP transistor and as this cuts on it's going to want current to flow from the collector out the emitter and as that does it's going to turn on the the PMP right here because you're going to have voltage going to the emitter which is going to be higher than the voltage at the the base of the PMP so what's going to happen is it's going to want current to flow this way but what it's actually going to turn on the PMP transistor and it's going to make the current flow across and out this way to the speaker at the same time discharging C1 the capacitor and when this discharges it will actually cut off the Q1 and then that'll cut off Q2 and then C1 will charge and then the whole circuit will uh, turn off and on and off and on over and over again and the rate at which C1 charges is controlled by um, the photoresistor R2 so if you have no light the actual charge and discharge is going to be uh, the actual charge of it will be very slow and as you more light have more light the charge will be faster because you'll have more current going through so you'll have um, a frequency and it's going to cause an oscillation so when you come through here it's going to charge then discharge and charge then discharge and charge then discharge and the rate at which it charges is is the actual frequency of it and uh, what I'll swap out this right here with a, a one a mega ohm resistor and it'll show you that it starts charging the same as if uh, the photoresistor had no light. It's going to be a, more of a clicking noise instead of a high frequency because um, it's going to be a slow charge rate of it. And then what I'll do is I'll swap out C1 with a larger capacitor and it also uh, take longer to charge it up. Okay, now I'm going to swap out the photoresistor with this mega ohm resistor.
then we're going to swap out the capacitor This is a larger capacitor, it's, uh, I'll have to look at it. It's a one microfarad. Well, I hope y'all learned something. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you want more content. Y'all have a good day.